Pixar movies have a bunch of sly easter eggs and references in each movie. Usually we're too absorbed in the great storytelling with iconic characters to catch them all right away. Thankfully, we have your back when it comes to that, and we're about to break down the biggest easter egg in the whole of Pixar. The reference in question is an ongoing thing where the most recent Pixar movie actually has an easter egg showcasing the next movie to be released. Since animation movies take so long to make, the characters are already developed and often make cameos long before their formal debut. So in order of release, let's go through the Pixar timeline and showcase just how many times the studio did this. Squirrel! There is technically a Toy Story 2 easter egg in A Bug's Life, but since it was Woody showing up during the outtakes, we'll merely tip our hat. Instead, let's see how the second outing of Buzz and Woody was revealing Monster Zinc right before your eyes. When Woody's damaged arm gets fixed, Repairman Jerry opens up his drawer of goods which not only has his tools, but our first easter egg. One of Jerry's little drawers is filled with toy eyeballs, which is a wink to Ted Polly from Monsters Inc. Of course, Monsters Inc. picked up the torch and was ready to tease the next Pixar movie. Unlike the previous one though, this reference was a bit more direct and now that Finding Nemo is instantly recognizable by just about everyone, it's incredibly easy to spot this reference. In fact, Monsters Inc. has three references to Finding Nemo in it. One of them sees Boo handing Sully a bunch of toys, with one of them being a clownfish like Marlin and Nemo. A clownfish mural can also be seen at Harryhausen's restaurant. Finally, a quick shot of a model Nemo can be seen yet again in the trailer where Randall is banished, hanging from the ceiling. Finding Nemo may have been under the sea, but we fished out some Easter eggs for you nonetheless. Uh, fished out because it's in the sea? Yeah, okay, couldn't resist that one. This particular reference was pretty heroic, and if you know your Pixar movies, then you know where we're going with this one. In the dentist office. A boy can be seen reading a comic book as he waits his turn. The series that he's captivated with has Mr. Incredible on the cover, but Nemo also has a nod to the movie Cars. Actually, it's more a blink and you'll miss it moment than a nod, as you see part of Luigi drive by the window of the dentist's office. Despite Cars not having any sort of tease in its movie, The Incredibles does have a little wink towards that upcoming movie. In the final battle, you may have missed Pixar making yet another Cars reference. One of the Cars is actually a realistic version of Doc Hudson. It's interesting that Pixar made two references to Cars in two different movies, but that movie is the only Pixar to break this tradition. Cars may be the next film, but there was no reference to Ratatouille in that movie, so we'll have to skip ahead to Paris for the next one. Ratatouille re-established the tradition of teasing the next Pixar movie in the form of an easter egg. You'd have to keep your eyes open though, as the nod towards Wall-E is not an easy one to find. In Linguini's tiny Parisian apartment, you'll notice that the cook isn't as alone as he may have thought. Sure, he has Remy now, but there is another animal companion hanging out on the wall. You can see Hal, Wall-E's cockroach friend. We know Hal can take a lot of damage, as Wall-E runs him over numerous times, so maybe Hal's survival skills have brought him into the future. That's one persistent roach. Speaking of being persistent, we have to give credit to Wally for being able to survive and be happy in the garbage dump for so long. But one man's trash is another man's treasure, as they say, in a corner. We can see Carl Fredrickson's tennis ball walking stick before Wally watches Hello Dolly. The walker makes a comeback later when Wally falls from the ceiling after being pushed by Eve and Wally collides with it yet again. The easter egg featured in Up is actually fairly easy to spot, especially with the benefit of hindsight. When Carl's house begins to float thanks to all of the balloons, we get a peek inside the bedroom of a little girl. Inside her room, tucked away next to her bed, is a lots of hug and bear toy, who is of course the antagonist of Toy Story 3. Okay, fine. Perfect. The question now remains is to ask if that's the same Lotso from Toy Story 3 or another model. Toy Story 3 actually has two little easter eggs that point towards the release of Cars 2. The first one is hiding in Andy's room, and it's a poster of Finn McMissile, a character who was supposed to debut in the first movie. From there, we venture over to Sunnyside Daycare, where we can spot a Lightning McQueen toy on the floor in a shot where all the kids are playing. Because of this, finding Lightning is a bit more difficult, but once you see him, you can't not see him. Which of course brings us to Cars 2. At the Ye Turn Left Inn located in London, fans can spot a nifty little tapestry located above the fireplace. Since this is the Cars universe, the individuals on the tapestry look like Cars as well, but make no mistake, this is the Cars version of the Dunbro family, which includes Merida from Brave. You can see her parents and more notably, the triplets in the tapestry. 
This particular Easter egg helped give fire to a whole entire theory about the Pixar films existing in a shared universe, so with that in mind, you know it's a big one. In the Witch's Hut, you can find a wood carving of Sully from Monsters, Inc. Easy enough, right? But when you ask yourself, what if the witch is Boo, who ended up lost in time searching for her fuzzy friend, the Pixar shared universe theory opens right up. We're still not sure if the witch is Boo or not, but we do know that Sully would be making a comeback in Pixar's next movie, which is, of course... Monsters University, despite being the academic of the Pixar family, doesn't not have an easter egg for Inside Out, the follow-up Pixar movie, but it does include one for the good dinosaur. Yeah, it's weird, it's getting things mixed up. Initially, Dinosaur was supposed to come out first, but the release dates with that and Inside Out were switched. As such, in the final round of the Scare Games, in the Scare Simulator, we can see Arlo and friends in the form of toys in the mock bedroom, but we'd have to wait an extra movie to see them in action. We wonder what the easter egg for Inside Out would have been. Inside Out, however, had the benefit of additional time and was able to play around a bit more in post-production. As such, the movie was able to successfully tease the good dinosaur properly. When the emotions inside Riley's head begin to see all of her memories, they see the family's trip to San Francisco when she was a kid. The family stopped to take some pictures with giant dinosaur statues. We get a clear shot of a statue that looks like Woodbrush, and we can see Arlo's tail just outside of frame. Talk about fossil preservation! So now that Pixar has teased us with two separate references to the good dinosaur, we have to see what that prehistoric movie had an offer for the future. As such, the good dinosaur not only teases Finding Dory, but also gives us our first look at one of the best characters in that movie. We're of course talking about Hank the Octopus, who can be seen on the seabed when Arlo is learning to swim. Thanks to the murky water and the size of Hank next to Arlo, you'd be forgiven if you missed this one, as Hank appears quite tiny in the murkier water. Not only that, but it appears he's camouflaging as well. This reference to Cars 3 in Finding Dory is really sly. In the final chase sequence, when you were paying attention to the action, we were looking at the driver of the truck. See his band-aid? Look closer. The band-aid has a version of Lightning McQueen on it. We know it's really hard to tell, but trust us, it's Lightning. So while Lightning may have been next to impossible to find in Finding Dory, the two references to Coco were thankfully not nearly as tough. One of them was a shot of Santa Cecilia on the television that Cruz Ramirez uses to motivate the homesick rookie. The town featuring the Grand Church is the same one from Coco. Does that mean that the trainee comes from Santa Cecilia too? Santa Cecilia, mi pueblo! That just raises a whole bunch of questions for the Pixar shared universe theory. Likewise, we can spot Miguel's guitar on the wall of cotton pin bar behind the band on the left-hand side of the stage. Coco played it smart and subtle when it came time to showcasing The Incredibles 2. This is one of the weird cases that also hints at a shared universe. Thanks to Coco focusing on humans yet again, we have to wonder if the citizens of Santa Cecilia know about The Incredibles, for instance. While in the land of the dead en route to the talent show, we see a poster of The Incredibles on the side of a building. If the family are known and celebrated in the land of the dead, wouldn't they also be in the living? Thankfully, our heroes are alive and well when it came time for their very tardy sequel. 14 years had passed between the two movies, but thankfully, nothing had changed, including the now obligatory tease for the next movie. In Jack's crib, we can see a few toys lying around. One of them is none other than Duke Kaboom, the newest member of the Toy Story family voiced by none other than Keanu Reeves. And the camera, of course, never draws attention to the tiny toy, so this one is actually harder to spot at first. Just because Toy Story 4 was getting ready to send you on a feels trip doesn't mean it wasn't thinking of the future. Eagle-eyed fans will have to stay vigilant to catch this reference. Now let us venture forth and find this treasure. Onwards! As you may have just guessed, Toy Story 4 includes a wink towards the Dungeons & Dragons inspired Pixar movie. In the carnival, you can see a bouncy castle for a brief moment. On the very top of the castle is a white pegasus, the same design that's on the side of Barley's van, Guinevere in the movie. Of course, the tradition doesn't stop simply because Onwards is the most recent movie to be released. In fact, fans have already found the reference to Soul that can be found in Onwards, and that movie isn't even out yet. Since Soul isn't out yet, Onwards director actually confirmed with fans that they found the Easter egg. The reference in question can be spotted in the scene when Colt Bronco knocks over Barley's Dungeons & Dragons inspired game on the shelves. There are a slew of records, one of them being by Dorothea Williams, a character from Soul who was voiced by Angela Bassett. Time will tell what Soul's reference will be. 
So that is our comprehensive list of all the Pixar Easter eggs that teased a future film. Which one is your favorite? We quite like the one in WALL-E with Carl's tennis ball walker and the ones that suggest the Pixar shared universe is real. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your playlist. Thanks for watching.